Um, today we'll show you how to um, install and use properly the uh, Ilios uh, GUI Zencash wallet. Alright, so first of all you gotta go to, well, download the Ilios wallet. So, Ili so let's go to github.com, alright, right, uh, here. Zencash yo slash Ilios slash releases. Alright, and then you want to download the version 005. So Windows or Mac OS. Alright, and now we just wait for it to download. Uh, once it's downloaded, go in your downloads. Alright, downloads right here. Sorry, Ilios uh, version 005. Right, and you extract it. So come here and extract all. Once you extract everything, you'll have to come here and then alias.exe. Double click on it. And then you're going to have this little window here. And what you want to do is go to Setcoin and then choose Zencash. Must restart uh, Switchcoin. So come back here. Downloads, Ilias, come back here, and then Ilias again. Alright, and then come here, and then set a wallet daemon. And then you choose the zendi.exe file. And then, um, I'm not sure if it's necessary, but I always like to uh, restart it. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And then you can set coin config files, set RPC credentials, but that's but that's up to you. Uh, show version, anyways. And then we just wait for it to finish analyzing. All right, and then when it's done, you can just like look around. Send transparent, so send to the amount, uh, send private, receive address, uh, new transparent address, so you can get an, a new address right here. And then the amount you request, you're requesting, uh, your addresses, and then console. Well, console doesn't work for some reason, but uh, I'm pretty sure it'll be fixed uh, eventually. Alright, uh, you can do restore Zen from DCL if you have a, a, Z cash, uh, a Z Classic wallet on your uh, desktop. I don't have one on my laptop. And anyways, I already imported my Zen Classic on my Z Classic on my uh, wallet, so I don't need to do it. Um, yeah, and yeah, you can do import all wallet, backup all wallet. Um, and then that's pretty much it. Um, and on Windows, your Zencash uh, file will be to will be at um, app data slash Zen. Dang it, Zen. And then come come here and then uh, Zen.conf. And you can import, uh, well, you can do add node equals, and then add the node you have to uh, add. So, um, I think that covers pretty much what I needed to show you guys. Um, Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. If you have another uh, wallet at that file uh, somewhere else, like I have on my uh, Linux um, virtual machine right here, as you can see here, wallet at wallet at that, you can just transfer it and then replace. Uh, permission. All right, for some reason I don't have permission, but. Anyways, you know the principle. Uh, you know what I mean. You can just let's see if I can just uh, what? 
Replace. There you go. Alright. Now that you replace your wallet at that file, you should be able to. Um, Alright, let's do this. Control, uh, Control X for cut. Control V for paste. Delete this. Alright. Alright, and then right here we'll uh, initialize, and then whenever it finish uh, syncing to the blockchain, you'll be able to see all your uh, coins that you had on your uh, other wallet. Um, so I think that's gonna be it for uh, this tutorial. All right, could not find demon wallet, wallet demon. All right. Um, well. This is kind of annoying, so you just have to do a control shift escape and then end task. Alright. Um, come back here, downloads. Alright, set coins and cash, set wallet demon, Zendi. That should dissolve it. Allow access. Alright, I'm on the Zen Cash uh, wallet version of the thing. And it's currently syncing with uh, one connection. So from here, just wait until well, it's done syncing. And then you should be able to see your coins and addresses and stuff. Uh, as you can see here, this is my one of my transparent address. Um, that you can see right here, so ZNBK3, ZNBK3, and then QRO1J, uh, J, QRO1J, so yeah, that's it. Uh, it doesn't show the other two addresses for some reason, I don't know why, but anyways. Uh, it's just a beta alpha whatever version. So, yeah, I think that's going to be it for this tutorial. Uh, just be patient for uh, for the blockchain sync, and eventually it'll, it'll be done. Uh, you can come to the uh, Slack channel, you go to Zencash uh, Slack, I think that's, I think that is it. Alright, that's it. Then cash a slack. And then you can come here, alright. Um never ask me again. And you can come to support. Uh what address alright. Comes to support and then uh, you should be able to see alright, pin messages. Uh okay no, that's just my tutorial for uh CentOS and Ubuntu. All right. Um, go up. And all right, this is my tutorial that I made for uh, the Demon wallet on CentOS. It also works on Ubuntu if you guys are interested. All right, and then from here you can just uh, copy this, these addresses and stuff. Come back here. Mm. App data Zen Zen config up enter space uh, not space uh, control V for paste and this address is uh, doubled so just delete it all right control S to save. And then let's restart Ilias. Go back to downloads. All right, let's just make a shortcut. Uh, create shortcut. Right here, desktop. All right. And then wait. 
Alright, it might take a while before it starts syncing, but it should uh, start sync. The syncing synchronization should start eventually. Um, Alright, as you can see now, I have three connections instead of only one. Uh, so that's why uh, these add node equals to um, and then some IP addresses helps a bit. Uh, and yeah. Alright, now I have 8. And then uh, it should start synchronizing shortly to the Zencash blockchain. Alright guys, well, and ladies. So that's going to be it for today's tutorial, and I hope this helped you, and I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> Alright, see you in the next one.